hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to create date table in one single formula date table allows you to perform time intelligence calculations most times businesses would always want to know how they are performing over time so it is very important to create date tables that you can reference in your data model there are several ways to create date table could be from your source data from power query or from dax functions there are two most popular dax functions used in creating date table the calendar and calendar auto function but the difference here is that these functions return a table with a single column let me show you an easier way out so here i'll come and click on new table once I click on new table, I go ahead to change the name of the table. I want to call my table dates. I, when I, I type the dates, the name of the table, I'll now type add columns. Add columns is the function we would use. The first argument there is a table. So I'm going to use the calendar function here. The calendar function has start date as the first argument. So I'm going to type the earliest date in my data set for the starts date i'll type that once i'm done typing i will type this for the second argument of my calendar function is the end date i'm going to type the latest date in my data set for the end date once i'm done typing i'll close the bracket and press shift and enter then i go to the next argument after creating table the next argument is the name the name is the name of the column that i want to create so yeah i'll start creating the columns for my date table i'm going to start with the year column so i'll type the year as a string then i'll use the year function to to create the date for that particular column then the next one is going to be quarter so for quarter, I want to format the quarter to display as Q1, Q2, Q3, or Q4. So I'll use the format function. In the format function, I'll just go ahead to type for the second argument, backward slash QQ. Close my bracket and continue. So the next column is going to be month. Month, I'm going to equally format the month because i want the month to display the first three letters i want the first three letters of the month to display for it i'm going to format the month as well after that i'll create the next column which is day of week for my day of week i will use the weekday function to create to for um create the day of week after that i'll create my last column for now which is day name the name of the day i'm also going to format the name of the day because i want it to show the name in full like monday tuesday wednesday i want the names to show in full i'm going to use the format function after which after i'm done with the formula i press close my bracket and press enter so you see that the table has been returned and the table has returned with all the columns if we had used calendar or calendar auto function we'll have to start creating individual columns for this table so this one is actually a very easy way then i can come over to mark my date table i want to mark it as a date table so that power bi would use this as my official date table for my data set and all my analysis i'll come click on it go to mark as date table once i click on mark as date table this color um, this dialog box will show i'll click and click on date after it's verified i go to click on ok once it's once i click on ok my date table is ready for me to use and perform my analysis and calculations thank you so much for watching this video